The door is closed. This door can only be opened. Still nothing. Still nothing. This door. Morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union muscle turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. I mean ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. Men who drink beer for breakfast? There's talk of an armed wing of the union called the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for state policing. I think it's them. I completely forgot. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. One loose thread less to worry about. And one big problem to replace it. That would just escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debarders Union. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. Yeah, streetwise. Zoom right past. But aren't you curious to know what they are? They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Just a moment. She's agitated. Judging from the way she keeps pulling at the... F and there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line... The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead too. The manager was vague about it. Why would he be vague about phone problems? This is something to look into later. To let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary were supposed to... I was also hoping she... A little missing persons puzzle might just be the thing to take your mind off the hangover. That's just it. This isn't like him at... But you have more important things to work. More important than a missing expedition? I don't know. Expeditions often lead to something interesting. Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of in... But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to... The water lock? That was broken. Could this be it? Oh, sweetie. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. Oh my, what happened to the water lock? Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful to both of you. You've spared me another sleepless night. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that. Vanilla murder investigation.
And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, dear. I'm not sure where to begin. Hmm. Well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but... You can't go around forever sure feeling grown men's hands. If you want to find her husband, you'll need more... Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame. The lieutenant pulls out his notebook. One other thing. He'll likely have... We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. Via dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. We hit it off and, well, here we are. She's skipping over some important parts. I hope I've been useful. Oh, yes. A zoologist. It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research. That's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. She's used to playing off such insults casually. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology. Once searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. The quality of research at Revacholian universities has been on the decline, but you doubt there was ever a time when cryptozoology was embraced by the academic elite. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. Well? Ah, yes. Phasmatodia. A diverse group of insects. Where other phasmids imitates, hence its name, the in- I knew it. We're gonna be chasing made-up insects with cryptozoologists. It's not made up, officer. It's simply elusive, so much so that most establishment- Well, some teenagers making out in the re- Of course, most phasmid sightings turn out- Enthusiasm has wiped the worry from her face. I suppose I have something of a personal connection to the insulin- Oh, I doubt it. Yes, it can blend in almost perfectly. Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not ex- Morel can explain it all much better. There's really no point in manipulating anyone. She'd be only too pleased to tell you about her. Oh, I'd be delighted. Truth be told. One cryptid, not a couple. One. He nods and assumes a waiting posture. Ooh, tough choice there. The gnome of Jeroma. Oh, it is. It was reported a couple of... It still took the gnome of... If the body of the creature was found, why aren't there detailed... Alas, the first scientist who got his... Instead, all the venom leaked... Alas, always alas, and then it was gone. Isn't that overly convenient? I understand your skepticism, but that's what happens with things that are rare and... Of course... Can I help you? Got the 20 real? Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. handle this detective disorientated are you still wondering where you are her entire character has shifted this young woman is cold as ice that's right i am not a gardener i'm a legal counselor for the dock so let's get to it you're looking for titus hardy you think he has information that will help you maybe he does that's titus talk to him but know this, I'll be keeping an eye on you. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. Aggressive? 
you make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. Just dock workers? Do dock workers spy on the police? We let you off easy, miss. Don't think it will happen again. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishol. Fuck yeah. So ask what you came to ask, or get back to your commanders. No one is emotional here. Do your job. Ask your questions, then leave. What's this? We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate, political opinions somewhere in Martinez. The air suddenly feels calmer. It's time to become a citizen of the kingdom of conscience. I knew we could trust you. Remember, real democracy is just around the corner for Ravishaw. When that real democracy kicks in, we are all going to be so much happier. This is where you say you're bed. Detective. Oh, this is about him. You sure took your time, huh? Waited for him to get real ripe and pretty for you. Oh, he was a real pretty boy. Hanging up there. I can't for the life of me understand why you did it. I mean, I would have just left him up there. You must re- You might want to start asking your questions now. Do a head count first. Connect these men to the tracks you saw in the yard. Chances are they're going to match. Starting from the right. Boot size, 44. Blonde man, in his third. Sitting on his right. Standard working boots. Size, 45 or 46 across. At the other table, hobnailed working boots, size 43, gang tattoos. He spent his youth in Villa Lobos, a housing project in the Jamrock Court, and then standard working boot, steel reinforced toes. The emblem on his vest says in the far corner, standard working boot, steel reinforced toe, size 41, with the light step, not a child after all. An older man with a rat f in the middle, heaving and wheezing. Big guy, boot size 46, deep marks, probably carried. In conclusion, these seven are the actors on the crime scene. The footprints were theirs, but there's a dis- Exactly. You've stood there for about four seconds, not saying anything. Hit them with questions. Where's the eighth Hardy? The fuck is with you, fella? What are you talking about, madman? There's no eighth hardy boy. There's seven of us and we're all here. Or what? You want to be the eighth hardy boy? We ain't hiring. Actually, boss, we've been talking and we think she could maybe... She? So there's an eighth hardy and it's a hardy girl? Who might it... Shut the fuck up, Glenn! I do the talking here. It has to be good if he won't let you pursue it. So, let me get this straight. There is an ace hardy boy. It's a she, and you don't like us talking about her? That's right. We're not talking about this. This is a private hardy boy's matter. Nothing to do with your shit. And you're not cops here. Don't go digging around if you don't want a bullet in the back of your- Good. We are all watching each other. Officer, your question. The pretty boy. You got- Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Because we took it from the harbor. We did this. Together. All of us. And There's a catch hidden somewhere. He didn't confess so that you could take them all away. It's too simple. There is no catch? 
these seven honest men have all equally come forth to tell you what happened, so that you don't waste any more of your time. All seven together. They're diluting responsibility. It's an anti-arrest tactic. Are you deaf? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boy. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? A trick question. Don't let her lead the conversation. <laughs> Who do you fucking think does? It wasn't a question, dickwad. How fucking stupid are you? This asshole is worse than... Titus runs the Hardy Boys, genius. That's why we're called the Hardy I think you got your answer. Yes, there are some administrative differences. But on that night, they all acted as one man. How many people have you sent to the Chaise? Chaise Electrique is the method of capital punishment. Or send them to Reunion to rot. For 20 years. For life. But you see, a law, lawman, is something people agree upon. And here in Martinez, we agreed that this man had to die. You don't have to keep answering his questions. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. See? Known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. Yeah! Who do you think we are? Quiet. He came around about three weeks ago when that... By the Pine Cow, you mean Joyce Messier? No. I mean the Pine's Cow. Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she... That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer, your interview is drawing to an end. Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out of line. What kind of most The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. I can't prove it. But I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. Wrong. He harassed women. Raped one. Harassed workers. Threatened to kill some as a warning. He regrets mentioning it. Hopes you didn't notice. To kill us all, if we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started to come in here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls, grabbed one of ours mid-karaoke, right there on the stage. He grabbed someone? Yeah, this girl's on the mic, a beautiful girl, young. Gets into the second verse of Love a Lake. The fucker grabs her legs. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? There's something odd here. Seems like they don't want to talk about that rape Titus mentioned. Why not? This is a serious allegation. No. You're not getting a name. That's a Martinez matter. There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling you. We hanged him up by his neck until he got real still. Wasn't that obvious? Copper. Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school? This is where an autopsy would come in handy. You have to work with what you know. Titus, you don't have to clarify anything. We overpowered him, dragged his unconscious body to the tree, put a noose around his neck, and hanged him till he was dead and steady. Then we left him for seagulls, maggots, and you fucks. Make them a bit more uncomfortable first, then see if it all adds up.
Like what, copper? Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first degree murder. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent-a-cop is gonna hear from us. Real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Again. <laughs> Good one, Ty. We. This is where an autop. We over. Then we. Make them a bit more uncomfortable for Elaine, who looks like he might be Titus's right hand man, the least antsy of the bunch. Definitely not. His. F this little rat faced fellow is solid, too. Always fidget him neither. Mostly keeps to his tomato. <laughs> no. Of course he's having trouble breathing. Just look at how fucking fat he is. Fuck off, Shanky. Angus is a powerful. Keep your eye on this powerful guy. Sooner or later, he's going to break like a piece of twig. With numbers, asshole. No, he hasn't. Not yet. Weren't you fucking listening? The fucker came to our bar. It happened right here. And fuck you too, copper. Picking on Angus like this. We're this one is a stone wall. You won't get more out of them about the night of the murder. Like what, copper? About fucking time. Yes? Look at you. It's because you're a failure. They sent you to Slight, Precinct 57. Just think about it for a second. You're a raging alcoholic. Oosh. I've considered it. It would be immensely ugly of them, not to mention unprofessional. But I also think it's somewhat unlikely. I checked the records. This jurisdiction dispute, who polices Martinez, reaches back to the 30s. It's as old as my station. And all this time we can't decide who gets Martinez? I think, yes, both stations would prefer a win. I am the finest of nothing. Safe? No. But you are old. You've made it this far. Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together, so I don't know what it is yet. But it's there. So no, I don't think they sent you as a joke. And even if they did, they are in for a surprise. Me? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want? That's correct. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. But you can't quite muster enough testosterone are they? They are mostly just cumbersome. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother. But from a it's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents. 
point of pride to him. No. The lieutenant nods. What do you mean? I have no idea what... The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. What? Think? The lieutenant produces his firm. We all have our different mediums. His is written. Good. Let's change the subject. Excuse me? Detective, if I may be frank, you seem to be in a deranged state. You have trouble remembering some you time? This is a police investigation, not a journey of self-discovery. Please do. The lieutenant is pretty sure self-care is just a euphemism for nihilistic binge drinking. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out. All right. Ready? I turn, you press start. The dashboard lights up like a leopard. The lights unfold with a little click, casting electrical... There you go. Snow covers the white on blue police livery of the motor carriage. Do something important? This is a Caprice Canet with its air-cooled, rear-mounted 12-cylinder compression ignition engine. The high center of balance is offset by a large battery bank. Mount even at a standstill. Someone has waxed it recently. Mm-hmm. You want 130? I reckon that's a seven... Man, that's got to be a major advancement over the KR18GU engine on the old Caprice 40. Yeah, you know it? Uh, yes, that's right. I'm very impressed. Yes, an extraordinary machine. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual. Actually, I have a pair at home. Just haven't gotten around to fitting them yet. I you want to help? Thank you for the offer. That might be fun. Let's do the case first, though. He liked the idea. As you hold your ledger's clip under the headlamp. There she is, Revachol West. Around the borders of the watermark are dust. The rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of the Ars. Let me see, right here. No, it does not. There are many of them, and they The first row has 18 dots. The next is the longest. You count 216 perforations. Considering that nice la the last row has three perforations. That's it. Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. Alpha male officers who are proud of their numbers. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? That's what it says. I might have guessed even longer based on your age. What did you do all those blissful years of your youth? No shame in working a regular job, detective. This next row, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed cases. Wow, more than 200. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, Clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. Call it what you want. You were a valuable member of your pre- Right. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations there. For an RCM officer, especially Precinct 41, which is in the- There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. 
So we have that to be thankful for. Yes. Everyone has their own method of coping. Some more effective. Or, personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Why not gardening? You've already got the yellow gloves. <sighs> if you want to pour out the booze you've been carrying around on duty, I'm certainly not going to stop you. A dark pool of cheap wine appears at your feet. It shimmers in the lights of the Kanema. Very noble of you. Are we done here? The lieutenant nods. Right. I'll go turn off the lights. You can now see your statistics on your journal page. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and... This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Yes. The armor was produced by Fairweather in their facilities in Betancourt. For like, it was part of a special order for Corps de Pharmacy. So, it seems the armor went to Seminine. That's where the paper trail ends, though. Even the film has proven difficult to track. Corps de Pharmacy has been renamed several times over in the years since the armor was issued. The most recently registered film that the ICP has been able to connect to the CDP is a military contractor called Crenel. And the one before it was down well. I think they might be the same contractor. A suit of armor like this would have been manufactured with a particular person's physique in mind. You should ask for whom this suit was fitted. Yes, but the ICP tends to be reluctant to sell private sector records. Sure, call back tomorrow. Hopefully I will have more information for you then. Just a second. Sylvie Malaika. Yes, hello? Oh, great. What else do you need, detectives? Well, you tried to jam it down the toilet, sir, clogging it completely. After I had unclogged the toilet and retrieved the paperwork, I, th I am sorry about that. Anything else, detective? You hear the call break. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Not yet, but I was able to convince the database people to serve private sector information. 57th, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a... Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? <laughs> yes? Hello? Me? She doesn't really want to be the... Is she such a working class woman? Not all the time. Right now I'm browsing books. It is. I know you are. Mm -hmm. What with? What with? A lot of things. My husband? No, he's not. I don't know. Where is this going, officer? Yes, but... No. Of course he's... It's got to be something else, then. Why else would you be asking her if it wasn't? Her hands move... Another comrade. Years of labor are pressing down on her shoulders. She deserves a hug for all the work she's done for mankind. The woman before you.
This bookstore is not amidst the various books. These three things, the point of the book and many others on this, it serves platitudes while all wholeness, unity. When it's up to your mind, the book features chapters on topics. So there's even a chapter on- Hum, sir, please, no browsing in that shelf. That, I can't have you end up like opening a police store next door and stealing my customers. Oh no. Several maps have the maps look old and fade. This large map displays Ozon, Laurentide, Fas Alamir disintegrating into mathematics. In the northeast, a dust mite stands on the north coast of Caillou in a bookstore. You can on Caillou. 850 million people live on these little dots. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and add connections to other worlds. Words past the Incelindian. You have little idea what they are. Perhaps they are gods. The north coast of a verdant eye to the east, Rokuron. It's somewhere to live. It's so small you can't even see it on the map. No, wait. There it is. No, this is somewhere to be. This is all you have. It's not really. Still, it's detailed. I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map, that old thing. It's a from when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up. The place does not look like... They didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be not... Several maps. The maps look old. Always good to be informed of your surroundings. The plaque on the shelf reads, Biographies of... I would say... The Greatest Innocence, yes, most certainly, a very influential his The book is also very, perhaps for a layman. Do her words seem vague and abstract to you? Certainly, it's prudent for a person to have at least an- You feel like you should get this one? Definitely. It's important somehow. There's some- Browsing through all the books with all the- Suddenly, a particularly odd type. High speed love, next to Irv's life story. Next to that, River Sholian. I really must insist you buy one of the books. Reading them is not for free. I'm sorry, I did not mean to rush you. You are browsing. Go ahead. A true cultural... The Greatest Innocence. Browsing through the very... Your educational survey is done. Did you catch any of that? No. Oh well. That's the spirit. Oh yeah. This is what I was made for. A pop quiz is a short examination designed to test Dolores Day. Dolores. Incorrect. Dolores Day was the innocence of humanism. International. Her colors are silver, white, and apricot. Stay clear of this one. There's something terrible about this one. A strange sensation of loss. When she... Yes, the quiz is impersonal. No need to rouse. Incorrect. Sola resigned after an assassination. Correct. Nothing much is known about him. It's not as the first innocent. Question two. Easy. Everybody knows the answer to this. You, me, anybody. Incorrect. Even though the words most incorrect, correct, named the innocence of militarism, Franco Neg question th got it under control. No problem. Solid on this one. It's widespread historical information. Yes, there exists a group called the Founding Party. There seems to be a mix up with the sword. At least it clearly wasn't Dolores Day. She wouldn't be false. She's beautiful. Incorrect. Stepan the Despicable. Correct. The most famous and imp final stretch. You've come so far and learned so much. I've got it. Honest. Correct. The Mesk might see Franco Negro as the father of nations. Everything from inter isolary Congratulations on finishing a D. Not particularly remarkable. You would have done better if you'd just left Dolores Day for the end. Dial the Dolores Day down 
What's going on with you? Okay. You are shouting at an inanimate object, like a real weirdo. No wonder you... For the face of King... It's just a racist mug. What's there to read? Oh boy, here we go. What are you going to say about a... But it was in the trash. Why not? The worn map. F your finger moved. Finally. For more detailed view of the map. These shelves. A couple of spook novels hide amidst all the detective books. Oh, crime rob. You're a... A police crime fiction. These books. What's more? Not a single mention of all you see. A killing is declared. Oh no. Turns out he. F yes. Tragedy. After all this, you still haven't found the answer to the one your quick eye notices. A worn paper. Could it be the motifs of unstable identities and shocking? Be then this is the book for you. Aces high. For the rest of the world, the Aces High is just a cool Revachol thing. Kingdom of Conscience. The Kingdom of Conscience will be exactly as it is now. Moralists don't really have beliefs. Sometimes they stumble on one, like... You see. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Nothing. Now oh, please go. She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell on you. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtain, just as you're about to pull apart the curtain. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's. Parapsychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held. She looks away, mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? No, it's just a storeroom for the employees, I told you. Now please step away from the... You do? My God, even more reasons not to mess with the curtains. No! Please. Talking is all... You see a tattered set of curtains and a polyhedron-shaped cage-like trinket. You see some kind of charm. And this is a traditional Seminese ward. Inhabitants of Ilifan, aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm. At the curtains tattered with. You see a dimly lit room full of dusty furniture and trash. I warned you, you're unleashing. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you. Only an echo. A hollowed out dark echo. You smash into the wood and see a small crack appear on the door frame. It's going to take one more try to break through to the other side. You're not thinking of trying again, are you? What is this place? Yes, but no one's been here in ages. I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. Some specks of dust shimmer in a faint beam of daylight. An eerie feeling rises in your chest. Yes, because it's closed. No need to look for a supernatural experience. A 
barbell lies on its 60 kilograms. Your triceps hum at the sight of these weight. There are no collars on the barbell. This is a safety hazard. You're right. The weight may fall off. Better not touch it then. It would be a violation of EPIS safety regulations if the gym was still operating. dark, and the flashlight works a lot better if you hold it in your hand. Right, now- Some areas- Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard. Some of the writing, these lithe, pointy, translucent Welkins. You should adopt one of those Welkins as your persona. One of the Welkins, it's Vara Hamira, the Haldor, the Tworg, the... An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little Welkin creatures. Some people really like building a world, I think, even if it's just for a game. Mm -hmm. This looks like concept art. Just look at those details. The photo entire of you see a pinned postcard. This, it looks a bit minimi, stands for as time goes. Looks like they didn't make it. A note in the bottom of the handwriting is only partly legible, but you can still make The full text reads, Heat death of the universe. This appears to be a radio computer. What he means is that these things cost them. This is the Ream Civic radio computer. We have one of these done. The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, revealing fluorescent play. It's empty like a beehive with the filament you have with like a smooth drawer. The filament slides into place. A bar of fabric, right? The static gets left. Good morning, Darkless Accident. Please repeat. Is this the production schedule? The filament you have inserted into the reader. That was a question. Have you inserted it into the core? Good. Password. Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. No. A hint system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Still no. I am contractually obliged to protect the privacy of- I'm afraid we are not doing that, unless we want to- Now, can you please re receive the- I Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning- Fortress accident? Is there anything else I can do for you today? Yes, I am- She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. I work as, as for me, well, I am sitting in my cube now. Please tell me, Fortress Accident is the company on whose name? One moment, Fortress Accident, SCA. That's not bad. Hmm. 
Any other questions? Thank you. Tiles on the cube are still smoldering, casting the f Nothing happens. The filament slides out of its glowing nest. Nothing. Something's missing. This old fire, the whole thing resembles Kadran mosaic tiles. Radio frequencies, unclear. It looks like a cardiovascular system split into veins and capillaries. You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations. They must have had massive air width. Someone very important. A conductor for the hundred. Whoever decides to call in. A list of names under the stations. There's no way a little bit. My god. Exactly. This schedule, I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Nothing. It's just light. Okay. What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard, and fireplace? No, that's not it. I think... Like he's ready to lay out a fire. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. Only these people were trying to automate it. Make it work on radio computers. Through call-in stations, none of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game, as long as they have a two-way radio. Then there's the Game Master frequency that listens in on the smaller call-in stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate this. Coordinating so many games would take a whole switchboard of people, possibly divided into sub- Not to my knowledge. They make automated games in Grad, Messina, Konigstein. Not in Revachol West. But I don't think anyone has attempted to create an... In Indeed, those Welkins are a dead giveaway. Roleplaying people love that. Super cool. Someone should give them millions of real immediately. This game is too good to be left unfinished. No idea. They stopped filling out the schedule on the chalkboard. Indeed, it's ambitious and untethered from reality, but... Too late for that, I'm afraid. Okay, let's keep moving. An iron safety cut an odd thing to do. Still not. Those curtains prove to be surprisingly sturdy. Can you please try to refrain from attacking random things? Why do you think there's something on the other side? In any case, there's no way we can get in right. Shelves are empty. You pocket the note and the little fridge magnets, a friendly cartoon beer. The paper still smells of vanilla and ch Good question. It looks like an ice cream fridge. I know. What is even worse, the bear is still costing them money to this day. The fridge buzzes with energy. The electricity bill on this thing. bricks have fallen off, revealing a compartment behind the wall. There is, yes. And there also appears to be something inside the hole. Your hand reaches deep into darkness and spiderwebs. Are these any good? Most of them are rusty and inoperable. That's a rare sight. Seems to no longer be functional, but still a beautiful thing in its own way. Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Look at all those rifles. It means there are firearms, albeit inoperable, still lying around. He likes this find. 
a few bricks of fall. Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads to the ice beer fridge and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. An electric sizzle. The room is slightly quiet. Something close to you dies with a soft elect- Why did you do that? The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. Does it say anything interesting? This is tangential at best, but the someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, Sully Swaff. Looks like someone from that radio game co That's a plausible hack. It belongs inside a radio computer. It's like the production. Really? You don't have- Oh, I'm sure that child would love to get his hands on the filament memory. Even if he doesn't know what to- I don't know. Didn't you see one right next- This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank. You slip your fingers up. No, this is going to need something else. So if you want to try again. Equip the pry bar. By <laughs> this orange machine is dead still. It has a hand-cranked ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it, slowly melting. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying, like stirring your childhood dream. Both cables somewhere. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand turning the crank feels oddly satisfying. The ice squeaks beneath the pry. You see the pry bar's metal. Yeah, well, that's a good pry bar. I'm not criticizing it, but this ice cream maker is frozen shut. It takes an. I have no idea, officer. This ice cream maker isn't. Sooner or later, you will stumble upon a tool mighty enough. Then, only the black something close to you. Why did you do that? The lieutenant raises his brow. A thick layer of coal dust covers the furnace, coloring it pitch black. A hollow ring echoes through the furnace. Your toe hurts. A lush layer. Maybe you could paint something with this coal. Leave a cave painting for few. Looks like it. No one has used It's dark and the echo is so What are you doing? Wait, really? Maybe it's we should ask the lady in the bookstore what's going on with Bent metal. Broken. You are the destroyer. The bane of inanimate matter. Kudos.
You broke down the back door, the wards, the door. It's all gone now. Dark, I suppose it's all over now. I get just a door. This place is cursed, Detective. They don't call it the do. I hope you're happy now. Happy that you've ruined everything. Host almighty, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from the curse. Of course you didn't. You're nothing but a policeman. All right. You know what? I'm willing to let you investigate the doomed commercial. Her facade has dropped. But before we go on, tell me, did you encounter the malignant entity? Yes, the malignant entity that lives inside the chimney. It takes the shape of a woman, a witch probably. I've suspected that she knows more about... Yes, I've heard that. It's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some unnatural magic, I assume. You should go find the entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. If you're really interested in cracking this mystery, then we should go back to the furnace. Maybe you could yell into it or something. Make some noise. Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, what wonderful. Did you talk to her? Great. On a scale of 1 to 10, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? My precious, her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. God, ugh, I've told her not to do that. It's such a disgusting habit. She'll get it. She can, if she has enough willpower. This is what's called grow- Come on, ma'am. It's obvious she can't do anything about it. You are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child. She stands stiff and severe. She's looking for one, but there's simply aren't any- Oh no. Hold on. I need to invite her inside at there. I don't know what to say to you. My husband, he tries to teach me business lessons. I have what my mother called a dull mind. All this stress. Yes, my husband is a successful entrepreneur east of the river. He made the initial investment. Super silent. Almost inaudibly so. Yes, I'm afraid so. A real treat she is. It would be nice if she had... No, we couldn't have afforded more... A glimmer of sadness blinks through the world... Exactly. She's been too busy helping me here. I assure you, I of all people understand the... And hell freezes over? Never mind. It's not a good topic to get into. The woman looks aloof. Her features much softer. Occasionally, she glances at her daughter's silhouette. Sorry, sir. I can't talk right now. You just can't win. Out of the rain and into the gutter. Math. It's really difficult. Like, really. They say you need it to get rich. Better than- Oh, oh, I found something while you were away. I thought this would fit you. Like, thanks for helping out. Not me. The city, I mean. Like a detective does. Just what Dick Mullen would ask. I got it from behind the curtains. I'm not really supposed to go there. Maybe. It's the hat Dick Mullen wears all the time. Right, I have to get back to my homework now. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes, an endless variety. There's also a box in a board game section. Who wants to? There's a box. That price is steep. But then it's the wonderful board. Browbritter is a fun game of economic competition, but can get quite intense after a while. We have games for the whole family. Friends are technically like... F for playing with friends, I'd recommend Suzerainity. Lousy auras there. I've heard they turn people into a cult in th
thick layer of cold dust covers the furnace, coloring it. Something breaks loose in you. Hello? Hello? Did you say anything? I can't hear you. Please come upstairs. There's a safety curtain on the second floor. I'll open it. You hear a low rumble upstairs. After you, officer. Hello, I'm Nia. Did you try knocking on my window? I must have missed you. So what kind of diet? She's got a direct view to the backyard. You should interrogate her about the lynching. Yes, Amelia is like a call-in station. Mostly, they just teach you to swear in different languages. But some of the stations can... Then how did you get inside? By the south entrance? I'm a novelty dice maker. Tell me the name of your role-playing system and I'll make the die you need. Role-playing games? You know the one made by Fortress Accident. Does that count? Very good. My rate is 10 real per set. Unless you want something, take a look around and see. It almost looks as if the stones and dice are a natural part of the room growing no falsehoods are present she's a novelty dice maker and doesn't have anything to hide ask what you need how did i become some of my friends were rope not especially some of those nice people have big bucks to spend on novel nothing really the lieutenant looks at his your window looks directly onto the courtyard You're i'm sorry detective but as you know i usually have my headphones on when i'm working it shuts out most of the daily ruckus behind my window. Well, there's always something going on in during daytime, there are usually those kids. She's heard of the murder, but did not see it, sire. But I never saw anyone during that fateful I might have, but in this case... It's light here. It's really hard to make anything out in the... It's an odd profession. Make she nods. Anything else, officer? Of course. Tell me what you have in mind. I think I have just the right one for you. You're a police officer, right? A beautiful woman tossing you a gift. Whatever you do, don't overthink it. Mr. Smooth moves. You snatch the dice out of the air with one hand, just like you're in a movie. Oh, what are the odds? The red one is made of bloodstone with a lapis lazuli inlay. She winked back at you. Can you believe- You definitely need luck in Martinez. Was there anything else? We're inside the chimney of an old central furnace. It's strange, but when I arrived here, all the other rooms were- Creative. I've heard the stories, but I don't think those stories are true. Play sounds, the bookshop lady? I've heard that her business is doing rather well. Have the energy spared her somehow? Ah, the Semenese trinket. But it doesn't. Oh, right. But it's not just the bookstore that's still up and running. What about the whirling in racks? Some people say it's part of the building complex. And then there is me. I've been here for 14 years. Maybe it's just because she's so talented that she's been able to woo the curse. I was just about to ask, what do you think? Do you think the curse is real? Exactly. Truth is always so this but I'm glad we got this sorted out. That's all she has to say on the subject. She's been thorough and truthful, as far as we can see. More or less, are you- Oh, 
quite a lot of them spring to mind. It wasn't merely a gym, it was Art Dimitev's boxing club, a community project created to steer Athris cues away from it didn't. If any it's not really full of them. Eventually, the coalition took away the... Yes, I think it was... A bit of experimenting. It's not about the haircut. It's about the confidence. I guess it just wasn't the time yet. Oh, this one's... A Turns out... Hmm. What's and they never cleaned up the debris either. It's a sub-rosa radio. Nothing changes in... Don't worry, the ACP... Good luck with that. It's not easy catching those perpetrators. You mean Mr. Fabro? Anything else? They used to be a fashion atelier. Mm-hmm. And you know how. And, naturally, all the most fashionable tastemakers refused to be seen. Hmm. Really? Anyway. They were made by... Honestly, I think it's quite fun. The usual, I imagine. Men like that are a cur Sure. But I have no idea. They were just a pro Maybe you could make a sword out of one. For Tresac, they were an interesting bunch. That's understandable. They certainly took the, the usual. Well, I did. They seem to believe. She sounds almost mocking when she says that. Yes, but when the money started to run out, in the end, they just didn't get it done. They didn't have enough willpower to produce something truly his. Not the wisest decision. The result is one. Anything else? Oh boy, the fabled Revachow ICT. The place was owned by two guys. Indeed, what were the other ideas? There was really just one. And, it and by man booth, I mean slump behind the counter with a face that could maim you if you ever dared to disturb their bored magazine browsing. <laughs> Sounds like she really doesn't know how to be a female ally. Yes, yeah, some people spend their as if they didn't already have the bear. Of course not. The bear was terrified. Eventually, Ravishow ICT lost the price war to its right. Mm, maybe. He said that the bear. Sounds cool. Why is everyone doing drugs in this place? Mega Therian. A mega wild beast. It's an imp by telling you to do more drugs, mostly. Do you? Well, good luck. Anyway. Little sparkling embers under the window. Anything else? Another. Oh, right. I think none of them. The doorbell with the empty name card must... That's right. I haven't even written my name there. You could say so. If the whirling is part of the same building, then... Right. It used to be a gaming arc. My advice? Don't base your business. Agreed. It can't be true. Are you sure it was Lipstream SEA? Was it a woman? Oh, right. Tricentennial elect. It used to be a ma It was too real to be just a prank. Whatever happened, keep your cool. It's probably better to admit that it was a harmless prank. Ugh, oh, the kids these days. We were just one of them, and now they're terror- Why would Slipstream? I'm still convinced it- My money is on electrical anomaly. I've heard of these. It's sure, I'm listening. I'm pretty sure. Sure, I'm li- Good. I hope it clarified things a bit. What else?
what have you found? And also, do buy the books. There may be a novelty dice maker. Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? For some kind I don't understand. If it's not her, then where- The narrative she's built herself. It she's squeezing on the pendant to- Just don't say you don't have any- oh, To hell with it. Perchance you ought to just lie, sire. Good luck persuading her. Some people can rationalize anything. Yes, because her business consists of the psychic leech that's been feeding the cur- I see that you've fallen for her. Thank you for nothing. Please, do buy some books or be on your way. There was never any other way this could have gone. I am sorry we had to disappoint you, ma'am. Okay, but please, only a few questions. It's not good to talk- Well. Void rain. The curse. It's, it's the curse of financial distress. Of ruin. It's not just that, officer. There's something wrong with this building. Yes. I've got the wards help to keep the doom at bay and protect. Oh, this. There are numerous spells. Desert pygmy shaman. Yes. The, the woman looks aloof. <laughs> Still waiting for a replacement for the bull you sent sinking. It's a bell McGrave. This one's inoperable. The bolt spring is missing and the mechanism is jammed shut. Still a beauty. Where did you find her? I'm not surprised. There are probably lots. As for the rifle, I don't know what else to tell you. These BM446s are an antique. What is this? Are you mocking us? Now, now. No need to get angry again, René. I'm sure the officer tried his best. It's not like there's a bull kiosk here in Martinez. The best, huh? This isn't even a bull. But fine. I guess you did attempt to write your hooliganism. Yes, the Debardeur's union pays. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and... Money is tight. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I wasn't working that night. No one. The bus has been on man since lost. No one has been guarding the container yard. Yes. It's... Look, officers. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Never had one before, René. Monsieur Claire had that bus built special. The possibility. Evrard created this job for René because he knows the Royal Carabiner's pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off. A decorated Kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. Oh, I didn't mean to imply there's something wrong with that. I do it. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the topic of she? Is nobody. The lady is Jeanne-Marie Beaulieu, and she sure as hell wasn't a nobody. Yes, yes, uh, like I said. It was... Ah, yes! Oh! A superpower, feared and respected. Oh, old Philippe was a big fan. You can't even take the responsibility, that's why. Of course, clarity of vision. Philippe Zitter. He's just making excuses for the king's habits, isn't he? From what I've seen of the officers of the... Decisively, without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak-minded among his subjects, this is something the insurgents never under... The nation is... On Don't get started... The Carabineer does... Right.
man, the lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. Command officer. What you do know is, at 18.9 kilometers... Unfortunately, no. They are better than nothing. Tell you what, I perform the anatomical side of things while you will take notes. That's right. The dead man stares in silence as you crack above those an 11 field info form needs filling out first. It begins with... That's you. The corpse is indifferent to your scribblings. Just lies there. KK57. KK equals Kim Kitsuragi. 57 equals Precinct 57. Followed by... That's because he doesn't want to bring up the messy question of your initials. Next. N.A. Next, N.A. Hmm, roughly 50. Try 40. The damage is so extensive, it's better to err on the young side. He nods. Mondial. Fair to olive-skinned, from the Isola of Mwindi. This is as vague as it gets. The pudgy mess of curdled meat looks neither. <laughs> fucky, fucky! Male. <laughs> Pigs could have sex! Nor does he look male, with his pregnant belly. We're still going with March 4th. What else? 9. Body identified by... is non-applicable. KK 57 0503 None. At least not after the initial examination. Then again, the right lividity is easy to... Your central nervous system recognizes this gesture. It's the stations of the breath. Ecclesiastic, religious in nature, a holdout from pre... Somewhere in Jamrock North, a small wood shed behind Rosencrantz Row. Elsewhere yet, an obese female sits in a wicker chair. And so, all across Jamrock... We should start the postmark. The corpse cannot feel Kim's hand on his chest. It no longer meaningfully interacts with its clothes. The deceased wears armored boot. <gasps> See, it's happening. Babrudin, yes. Inexpensive. Size M. The disappointment is palpable. The red-haired thing was expecting something more lurid. The rest of the clothes have been removed post-mortem. It would be clever of you to omit the boots altogether, sire. If you are to keep them for yourself, as you ought to, you have deserved them more than anyone else. Patience. After the autopsy, before the body is taken away, there will be a window of opportunity. After the lieutenant has gone to sleep, I hope this has helped you, my liege. The boat has a serial number. It's E50.100.1000. 
The lines between the plates are in the shape tattoos. The upper torso is covered in a single look. The assistant has a color photograph of the market. The deceased has a belt for airlifting cargo around his neck. Well nourished, athletically built, measuring 1.8 meters. Body hair is light brown. Distribution is consistent with the age. The deceased had male pattern baldness. Hair is combed back, short. Lividity is consistent. Fucking low velocity. You think Kuno doesn't know what you're talking about? Velocity was fucking mad talking shit about- In addition, there are bite marks on the face, scalp, and chest. Ligatru mark. The steel wiring. Ah, there's too much of it. We need to remove the bell so we can get to the- You got just the right tool for that. The chain cutters. Always good to think ahead. Now we need to cut the belt to see the ligature mark built. See? My pig is gonna fuck- No he ain't. Your pig's a boring fuck. The belt is equally tight. The knot is the weak spot. The chain cutters fit in there. Steady now. Like a flower. After some deliberation, you sink the cutters into- Snap. The knot is slashed. The rope rises to a point. Leaving a hemorrhaging is observed on the skin. Chest is intact. Normal contour. Abdomen is protuberant. Pelvis intact. Genitalia. No! <laughs> it's gonna. I fucking knew! Genitalia is male and unremarkable. No evidence of injury. Back is symmetrical and intact. In addition, I see. From wounds sustained over two, maybe more decades. Mm hmm. Last item. Hands. The hand is surprisingly heavy to lift. Hands are clean. No sign of injury from struggling. I was. Maybe I'm just not seeing them. Honestly, this stench is making... Ooh. That's... I'm afraid we can't continue before we've gone through both the external and internal... I'm afraid we can't continue before we've gone through both... Central nervous system. I have nothing. Do you have... Of course, there is a moral to be drawn from it. A moral to this story. What would that be? The dead man looks, too, with barely contained excitement to hear the moral of his story. I think that may well be the moral of every story of it. Good. Misko Skeletal. With his eyes almost closed, the lieutenant puts his hand on the dead man's throat and begins to massage it. You hear cracks as the lieutenant moves. Yeah, jack that f The hyoid bone is fractured. The rest of the musculoskeletal system, respiratory system, oral cavity shows no lesions. No scream, no sigh of relief rises from the darkness inside. It's humid there, sickly sweet, it's hard. You taste stomach acid in the back of your throat. Inside, you see hemorrhaging present in mucus, hepatobiliary, NA. Ah, I Hepato means liver and biliary Nothing in your alcohol-soaked memory. Neither am I. That's it. Same for toxicology, and s unless you haven't tapped re reservoirs. No, but do they take obscure trivia? No. Like a toxicology screening. At this stage, I doubt processing will find anything. Even if he was brimming cardiovascular, the body exhibits heavy gastrointestinal. This will do. Digested semi-solid food in stomach. Voila. What's next on the list? Let's see. We have bite marks, contusions on the head and chest, and a ligature mark. Head, chest, and scalp bite mark injury. And your opinion, officer? Agreed. Next injury. So, the scalp bleeds from a post-mortem head injury. A stone. The injury does not have the rim of an early- At maximum velocity, fucko! Has confessed to causing it at maximum- Coagulated blood sticks to his scalp and- Right. Next. Nothing. Just in- A dark red abraded ligature mark encircling the neck with a gap on the nape. I see hemorrhaging on the skin, above and below the ligature. Below the note, two customary boxes wait to be ticked. 
That's it. We have established cause of death. It's not much, and it leaves much to be questioned. Let's wrap this up. I pronounce this field autopsy over. Well, we established probable cause of death. We also requested a toxicological screening. We were thorough with the list of injuries, too. We described them all in detail. I need a copy of that autopsy form. Then I will drive him to Faubourg for processing. You tilt your head, also looking at the corpse. Hmm. 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 I'm sure we didn't get everything. There's always something. Okay. I need a little help for carrying him to the holding. There go those beautiful... Oh well. In another life. Continue working here. The locals, the case, or attend to your own business? This means Lieutenant Kisuragi will leave the party until tomorrow morning. You're free to do side tasks and even the main case, though it might be more difficult. If you have nothing to do, read books or sit on the bench on the plaza.